guys, it's Peyton. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on your bell notifications so you never miss another video that I post. So today I'm coming at you guys with this video that's been highly requested. I've seen it a lot in my comments and you know that I love to listen to you guys. This video is going to be what's on my iPhone. And it's crazy, I have literally tried to make this video three times already and every time I make a video, I forget to record my actual phone camera screen. Anyway, I don't want to make this too long because I have a lot of stuff on my phone. So, let's get started by seeing what's on my iPhone. So, I have the iPhone 7. I have the 32 gigabyte and I got it when it, like a little after it first came out. And it's funny because I got this phone just because my 6 broke and I dropped it in the toilet. <laughs> Fun fact! I have the rose gold color. I'm going to take out my case really quickly. I've never cracked my phones, literally ever. I've only cracked my phone once, which was an iPhone 4, so I never cracked my phone. My lock screen is just like stairs. Like, I've had the same lock screen since I was in the ninth grade. And people are always asking me, why is that your lock screen? Guys, I don't know why it's my lock screen. I love it. I I just feel like it's me on my way up to my future, like the stairs to my future. So on my home screen, uh, there's me on the first page and now we're going to go to the second page. So on the second page, I have four squares. So in the first four squares, I have, um, well, I have my four squares and I call them my diamond squares. The first diamond square, I have some basic little apps as you guys can see. And um, I'm just going to say, have the most importance you know so reminders I use reminders all the time for everything then I have maps and in case I'm ever lost I use maps but I actually like Google Maps better than maps that comes pre-installed on the iPhone then I find my iPhone um, I don't really use that unless I like lose my phone in the house just play a little noise then I have Google Wallet and Square Cash which is like my two favorite cash sharing apps if you know me you know i love cash sharing apps because i'm always going places with my friends and sometimes there we go places where we can't split so then we send all of our money to one person and everybody just buys stuff and it's also really great for just you know sending money um in general then i have my verizon that's what i use to check my for my data or check for discounts or check my bill then i have venmo venmo is basically like google wallet and square cash but venmo takes three days square cash is like google wallet but square cash takes two days and google wallet is just the best because it can go instantly then i have voice memos voice memos is what i use when I am in class and the class is not Bruin casted. If you go to UCLA, you know, um, you know, if, if you don't want to go to a lecture and it's Bruin casted, then you can just watch it online. But if it's not Bruin casted and I'm in class and I'm sleepy, I'll just record the voice memo and then I will listen to it after class and take a nap while I'm in class. Don't follow after my footsteps, but I mean, hey, do what you gotta do sometimes. So then my second box, I have basic stuff again. Um, so wallet, I don't really use wallet that much. I only use wallet if I'm like going somewhere and I put a ticket on my phone and like I go in and like, oh, where's your ticket? Oh, like, oh, call my phone. I have Bruin Life. If you're a UCLA student and you need to get uh, Bruin Life, it tells you everything that's open for lunch, breakfast, and dinner. And then you can check what's served. Um, yeah, you can just check what's served anywhere. Um, and then you can also keep up with your swipes. I think this diamond square is my school diamond square and these are all the things that's super essential if you're a college student so I have docs and anytime I'm on the go and I'm on the run and I don't have my laptop then I'll pull out Google Docs and I'll just start typing up a document or editing a document if I need to then I have pay range pay range is what I use at school to wash my clothes y'all washing clothes at school is so expensive man then I have Web of Print. Web of Print is an app that you can upload documents to and you can just go somewhere else and uh, print your documents out anywhere on campus. I don't think this is just for colleges, but yeah, I definitely always see Web of Print boxes other places around LA, but yeah, it just depends where you are. Then I have Cam Scanner, super, super, super essential if you're a college student. This is what I use to scan things. If you don't have a scanner at your house or you don't have a computer and you have a phone and you have a printer, then you can just take a picture of a document 
and it automatically scans your photo and you can turn it into a JPEG or a PDF and you can email it to yourself, send it to somebody else, save it to your phone, save it to your Google Drive. Just super helpful and gets things done right away. So if you need a scanner, you don't even have to be a college student. If you need to scan documents sometimes, get Cam Scanner. It's free. I have GroupMe. GroupMe is super essential if you're a college student as well. Um, GroupMe, you just join group chats. And if you don't want people to have your number, boom, boom, boom. Twit follow, and that's how I check to see who follows me on Twitter. Then I have weather. Um, I live in Van Nuys, and it's 10 p.m. right now. It's crazy how it's not that hot. Then I have SoundCloud. You already know me. I love listening to music. So if you haven't checked out my Lit Music playlist, go look at it after this video. Give it a big, giant thumbs up. Um, and then I have You Doodle. Um, I don't really use You Doodle like that, but this is what I used to use to like draw on my images before markup on iPhones was there. And then I use Facetune too. A lot of people do what's on my iPhone and then they show how they edit their pictures, but I don't feel like my Instagram pictures are really up to par to show you guys how I edit them. But if that's the video you guys want to see in the future, I don't mind making it. But yeah, just for the purpose of this video, nobody asks for it, so I'm not going to do it. Then I use Wittagram. Wittagram is super awesome if you like to upload multiple pictures onto Instagram because on Instagram, you know how you have to um, take your app. You, anytime you upload multiple pictures, you're automatically forced to just confine your image into a square. Well, if you want to put multiple pictures, but you want the full image of all of them, you can get Wittagram and turn each of the pictures that you want to upload onto Instagram into the square and then take those take those pictures and upload all of them and then you'll have the full images and i have netflix you know since it's the summertime i've been catching up on my series such as ne uh, shameless and orange is the new black <laughs> then in my fourth diamond square i have followers plus to check who unfollows me on my instagram i have facebook to keep up with school groups student groups uh friends from school and family members. I really use Facebook for my everyday life, but I mean, yeah, don't go on my Facebook and try to be like, oh my gosh, it's paid. Like, don't message me or nothing because I'm most likely not going to reply. I don't get on Facebook like that. I just get on my, I just have a Facebook just to keep up. It's kind of like having a LinkedIn just to keep up. Then I have Amazon. If you know me, you know, I love Amazon and eBay. Always got the deals for every single thing. Lashes, lip gloss, hair. Uh, y'all everything amazon and ebay have everything if you don't have amazon or ebay you kind of need to get one and it's like i'm always debating which is better amazon or ebay and it's kind of just un i don't know they're both they're both pretty awesome i have google maps like i said i love google maps way more than i love um the actual maps that comes pre-installed on the iphone so i use google maps a lot more anytime i'm lost on campus because yeah i'm a second year now but hey ucla is a huge campus and I don't really know everywhere on campus, so I'm still learning and Google Maps is still helping me. Then I have VisoCam. I don't really use VisoCam like that, but I just have it on my phone just in case. I used to use it when I wanted to get that little soft grunge, Tumblr looking picture, but I don't really take pictures like that anymore and I don't really like using filters like that. So only time I use that is if, I don't even know, I really don't use it like that, but hey. Then I have Yelp. Yelp is not something that I use regularly, but you know, Anytime you want to go somewhere and you want to visit and you want to see what it's like before you go, you be like, oh, let's check Yelp. And then you click it and then it's like, oh, dang, got to download the app. So I just it downloaded the app just in case I want to go somewhere and check the reviews too. Then I have Shazam. Shazam is a really cool app because you can just find a song if you don't want to ask somebody for it. If you want somebody's Snapchat, go grab somebody else's phone and get Shazam on their phone and boom, get that song right away. Then I have Instasave. Instasave is what I use to save videos and pictures from Instagram. Um, that's pretty basic. I have the rest of my iPhone screen. So I'm just going to go down the line by what's important. I'm going to skip stuff that's like, you know, pretty sure you know what it is. So I have Uber, Uber everywhere, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I have Chase, that's what I use to check my bank account and I ever want to see how much money I have or I ever want to send money or receive money with Chase Quick Pay, I use Chase. Then I have eBay, kind of already explained that when I was talking about Amazon, love eBay. Then I have Tumblr, I don't really get on Tumblr as much as I used to but I still have the app on my phone because I like going on Tumblr for really nice pictures, um, yeah. 
Then I have notes. Notes is essential. It's basic, but it's essential because I put everything on there. As you guys can see, I already have some videos planned out coming up. Or if you're watching this video, I probably already uploaded these videos. But you guys can see I do plan my videos out. And then I have a uh, Spinrilla, which is where I listen to a lot of my music. I have different mixtapes and I have different artists all on here. So a lot of people are always asking me where I get my music. If it's not Apple Music, then it's SoundCloud. If it's not SoundCloud, then it's Spinrilla. Um, and Spinrilla is not something that I can just like go and like just share my playlist. Then I have Gmail. Um, as you guys can see, I have Mail and Gmail. I don't really use the pre the pre installed Mail just because I only have an email that I don't really use anymore on there. But on Gmail, I have like four different emails. I have my school email, my YouTube email, my regular email, and then an inquiry uh, and then an inquiry email. That's a lot of emails, you guys. I already know, but um, that's why I have like over five thousand emails. Then I have YouTube explainable and then I have Apple, then I have music explainable. If you're a college student, you need to get Apple Music because it's only $5. Anyway, you already know I love the music. So now let's go to um, the next page. So I have four apps up here. So I have Safe Check, which is an app that's pretty basic. It's kind of like um when you're riding in a Lyft or Uber, if you don't feel safe, you press, you put your finger on the button and, um, yeah, you just keep it on there. And if at any point that you feel like you're being attacked and you just feel unsafe, you lift your finger and the police is going to get sent your exact location and then they'll come to you, come to your rescue. And it's not to say that I feel like I'm going to die or get killed or raped or murdered in an Uber, but just in case I'm going to, I have this app installed on my phone. Then I, then I have Lyft. I don't really use Lyft like that, but. Here's this little secret that a lot of people don't know. You're welcome. Sorry, Lyft and Uber. I know you guys might hate me for this, but... Well, sorry, Uber. I know you're going to hate me for this. But when Uber goes up in price, Lyft goes down in price. So if, you're ever, so if you ever see that Uber is surging, go check Lyft and see if Lyft is a little bit cheaper. Because I always find that that happens. And um, I know in general, Lyft is more expensive than Uber, but... Hey, it is what it is. Sometimes you can get that quick little discount if you need to go somewhere right away and you don't want to spend too much money. Okay, and then I have Flow, which, uh, sorry for the boys that's watching this video, it's a period tracker. If you're a girl, you might want to get a period tracker because it, it helps you keep your life organized. When you go to the doctor, the first thing they ask you is when was your last period? And hey, why not keep it on your tracker, guys? In my iPhone dashboard, I have my Instagram, messages, Snapchat, and Twitter. My Instagram is at Peyton.B. You guys should go follow me. I don't really have that many followers on here. Um, but, you know, Instagram is Instagram. Then I have messages. Y'all can't see those, but I only have 12 texts because nobody texts my phone ever. Then I have Snapchat. People are always asking me for my Snapchat, so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my Snapchat. I have been trying to... I have been... I've been trying to avoid giving YouTubers my Snapchat because I like to post a lot of inappropriate things on Snapchat, but I'm going to start chilling just because. Anyway, my Snapchat is love that chicken. So if you want to add me, go ahead and add me. I get told that I'm pretty funny. So, hey, come and watch what I do. Um, I have Twitter. I don't really like to promote my Twitter either just because on Twitter, I can be a bit wild on there, but it's not to say it's not me. It's just a, a little bit more explicit me. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So that's all that's on my iPhone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any other ideas for videos that I should do in the future, go ahead and comment down below. And if you haven't, please subscribe already. And if you like this video, please thumbs up. That was it. Follow me on my Instagram at Peyton.B. Add me on Snapchat. Love that chicken. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.